so we are going to start making some texture monsters. Now, usually in school, we're going to use texture plates with these. I don't know if this year we, we will, but um, what we're going to do is we're gonna replace it with something else. So, what we're gonna do is we're first gonna start making our texture monster. So, we can do that with our shapes, right? So, I can make him have a big wide head if I want. Um, and then I can maybe have a rectangle for a body. Maybe I'll add some wings, right? And you guys can have yours look any way you want. It doesn't have to have wings. It doesn't have to look like mine at all. I'll add some little leggies here. And maybe I'll have three eyes, a big smile because he's a friendly guy. And each eye has to have an eyebrow, right? Last, we'll make maybe uh, some horns for him and he'll have some hair too. And there we go. So I made my monster out of shapes, right? Now I'm gonna think about where he lives, right? So I gotta put him on the ground. He can't be flying, right? He, although he does have wings, so maybe he, he does fly. Right, so now that he is on the ground, I can think, where does our friend live? Does he live in a cave? Does he live in a house? Uh, where do you think he lives? I'm gonna put my friend over here uh, in the outdoors because I think that he would love to be by a tree. And I think he'd also love to be by a cave. And that's it for today. I am just drawing a monster out of shapes. I'm adding my details and then I'm just drawing my background which means I'm just showing where he lives, right? And that's all we're gonna do for today. I hope that you guys uh, are doing well and I hope to see you all soon. Bye So friends. now this is where texture comes into play. So usually we use crayons and we use um, a rubbing plate for to make our texture. However, we don't have that now. So I'm gonna think about instead what can I use instead to make texture? I can use my pencil and I can draw all of the different things. Is he a hairy guy? Is he spiky? Where, what, what kind of environment does he live in? So I might even think right now, like I know the grass, it usually spreads up, right? So I'm going to draw lots of lines to show that the grass is long here, right? Now I can think, oh, the tree over here, it's probably full of, uh, it's pretty, pretty lush, right, from all the leaves. So I can make like kind of cloud looking sides. What about the tree over here? Maybe it can be um, part because of the bark, right? So I'm gonna draw lines to show the bark. What about the, the uh, the rock, is it gonna be smooth or is it hard? Or is it gonna be made out of little rocks? If I have little rocks then, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna show all of my little rocks that I have, right? And now it kind of almost looks scaly, right? So speaking of which, I'm thinking, maybe I want him to be scaly. So I'm gonna draw almost like a wavy line. And look at that. He almost has like scales like a mermaid, right? So I'm gonna have him have a scaly body. And now, what do I wanna do for his head? He has a tuft of hair, so maybe he's a hairy guy. So his head is super hairy. So that's where I'm gonna add these kind of lines to show that he's a hairy guy. And that's it. I got all of my rocks to show that he lives in a rocky place. My grass lines to show that it's full of grass. My lines going up the bark of the tree to show that it's hard. And my kind of pillowy lines in order to show that it's a nice lush area for the, for the trees. So with that, my friends, I am now going to be done for this part of the day. So I would like you to stop right there and just send this in to me. I'm excited to see how it looks. Bye, All right, friends, we're now into the tracing part. So I don't need to trace all of these little details that I made, but I'm just gonna trace the outlines, right? 
which just means that I'm going to trace the biggest things, right? And so I'm going to go around his face, right? I'm gonna make sure that I get his eyes right because I want those eyes to stand out. His T furs, I need to stand out. I think even his little horns and that tuft of hair. Same thing over here with my tree. I don't wanna do all of my lines that I worked on my, my texture lines, right? And same thing I'm gonna do with my big boulder that he lives in, right? So if you have uh, a house, uh, you might just go and trace the house, right? We're not doing something too, too big. We're just tracing over just the, the biggest details that we have, all right? So I hope to see you all soon. I'm excited to see how this works out. And I'm gonna leave you guys off to it. All Bye. right, friends, this is probably the funnest part. We're gonna use crayons for this. And so I don't have a lot of fun crayons like you guys probably do. But the crayons are gonna be what we use. So if I'm gonna have him be scaly, I'm gonna make sure that each of my scales I see, right? And maybe for each row, I might change it out so that I can really see all of my scales that I worked really hard on to show, right? And that's what you guys are gonna work on today. You're just going to color in your picture. So that means you're gonna color in your monster. That means you're gonna color in where he lives, right? And I want to see this full of color, right? I want to, the whole background to be colorful. I want the tree and the wherever they live to be colorful, right? Um, I really want you guys to have fun with this because I think this is a fun project and I'm excited to see how everyone turns out. And at the end, I hope that I see it fully colored in, right? So I can still see all the texture that you made. And I hope that you guys do well. If you need any help, please tell me. And I'm excited to see your artwork. Bye, my friends.